After you add the relationship lines, then we need to add the multiplicity on the end of each line. So multiplicity identifies quantity, uh, how they're related in a numeric way. And there are four multiplicities to consider. We can add multiplicities, multiplicities with just a regular text box. So double click anywhere and you get one. There's zero dot dot one, which represents zero or one. There's one dot dot one, which represents exactly one. There's zero dot dot many, which represents zero to many. And there's one dot dot many, which represents one to many. So an actor is one of many in the actor list. And how are they related? An actor is related to only one actor list because there is only one and we would never have an actor that without having an actor list to store them in so it would be this one dot dot many so I can just copy that and drag it up there and it goes on this line because it says how many actor lists is an actor associated with and then I want to go the other way and I want to say okay if I have an actor list how many actor objects is it related to well, we can't have a list with zero actors, uh, so we, it will be one, but it could have many actors, so we could have zero dot dot many, I mean one dot dot many. So an actor list has one to many actor in it, and that's how we identify what they are. So let's look at actor and movie info. We know that an actor might be associated with more than one movie, right? They might be in Bambi and Shrek. So we know it's going to be one of the many options and we have to decide is it one to many or zero to many. So if we look at the movie info, would we ever have an actor that's not in a movie? So we know that happens in the real world that there are actors that are not in a movie, but it would be that way in our system. In our system, would we create an actor profile, uh, an actor object, if they weren't in one of the movies in our system? And I'm going to say, no, we would not. So anytime we have an actor, they would be actually, there would be an, at least one movie that's associated, but they may be in more. So the, so the relationship between actor and movie would indicate that each actor has one, is associated with one or more movie infos. And what about the other way? When we have a movie info object, how many actor objects is it going to be related to? Well, this also will be many. We may, lots of movies have multiple actors in them. And now we just need to decide it would be zero to many or one to many. And here, is there a possibility of having a movie without an actor? So would there be an animated film that didn't have actors, that was completely produced uh, electronically and didn't have any actors at all? And let's go ahead and keep open that option. So I'm going to say that every movie info is associated with zero or many, zero or more actors. And that's what you do. You put on all the aggregation and association lines, you put a multiplicity on each end. Here, in a generalization relationship, there is no multiplicity required on either end. So this relationship indicates that every time there is a DVD object, it is a movie item object. And so the relationship there doesn't need to be defined with multiplicity.